Hi guys, John here from Martin Mechanical Machines. Hope you're all well. Um, just going to be a short video today. This is actually the one that's supposed to have come out last week. Unfortunately, due to the heavy winds, um, it just wasn't possible. Um, it is Monday and we are getting heavy winds, but not as, not as bad as they were on Friday. Uh, the plan was just to do a short video, just to sort of touch base with you guys. Um, I said I'd try and get one out every week. Um, the, the wind noise was horrendous on Friday, um, but uh, yeah, I thought I'd just um, I'll get one out, quick one, just have a little chat. You don't really want to look at my ugly face, you'd rather look at the, uh, the projects I've got for sale, so I'm just sort of in the workshop again, just having a little pan around, looking at a few things. Um, uh, the last video you saw that great long line of lawnmowers, the, uh, the, the six petrol, the two uh, electric and a couple of uh, grass bags, they have now gone. Um, chap came, actually quite, quite cool, they're going to Africa. Chap coming, um, taking them back for spares, uh, either usable or spares. Um, and there we go, yeah, I assume he's doing multiple trips. Filling up a shipping container and, and, and heading, out to, uh, heading out to Africa. Ghana, I believe. Um, but um, uh, yeah, so I've I've uh, they've gone, and I've now listed some others. So I've uh, you can see these lawnmower engines down there. I know people are going to take the pee because I hold the whole Dell Boy thing and Rodney and you remember the whole uh, broken lawnmower engines. Well, actually, they're not broken. A couple of them are broken, but um, this one here. This one, this one, uh, uh, yeah, those three are working. This Briggs & Stratton here is sort of partly dismantled. This is turns over. It's an old Honda off a, uh, a mower I picked up recently. Uh, and then there's this one. I'm actually selling uh, the mower engine and the frame as a combined. I, I was going to do something with it, but I just need to go. On. Oh, yeah, and I forgot there is this one down here, and that one does work as well. Um, so this was bought for an engine. I was going to put it on a go kart, or um, I did have one point thinking about putting it in my uh cement mixer, but I scrapped the cement mixer, just didn't have the time and the, the inclination to do it. So this is going well, hopefully, it will go. They're all up for sale. Um, a few other things I've put up, I've put my welder up for sale, just, I'm not going to use it, I can't see myself using it anytime soon, and I think if I was going to use it, I'd rather go out and buy a brand spanker, all ready to go, I just don't know enough about it to, uh, um, and I, I don't want to hassle my mates about it, it's just not worth it, they may have different thoughts after seeing this video, but we'll wait and see, uh, you're going for a box of bits a friend of mine gave me, um, yeah, I've got a few bits out here, some bits that I picked up. There was, I don't know if I showed these in the last video, but um, these lights, well, they're not lights, they're um, the covers for lights, so indicators and side lights. A uh, couple of nice old mirrors, which just need a really good clean. Uh, UJ joint, which is probably knackered, but it might be worth something to someone. Uh, this nice old uh, Villiers um, carburetor which I actually think I might do a little second video on for next week, actually about that, and I might actually watch me physically taking it apart, etc, etc, and having a good old clean, but um, uh, some gas uh, acetylene uh, gauges, etc, not really sure, not my cup of tea, but uh, someone might be interested in them, so they'll go on the market soon. Some really nice original girling brake pads, um, not sure 100% what they're for. They probably fit a multitude of things, but lovely old stock. Um, in, yeah, they're brand new. They're just new old stock. Again, if anyone's got any idea of stuff they might want to buy, please do message me. Um, I have this week, though, I see this week. It is supposed to be this week, but it's not. It's last week. Um, I have picked something else up. Uh, middle of the week, Wednesday. I picked up uh, this. A lovely little uh, E300 Honda generator. Um, you can see I've got the uh, the Yamaha behind, which uh, actually does a really good job. This one works perfectly. Again, everything works. Got it off a mate who bought it from again from a friend who was clearing out some family space. So 
uh, yeah, it's uh, it works really nicely. It's a nice little thing. I'll try and do a separate video on that uh, for this week's, which I'm aiming to probably film uh, towards the end of the week, hopefully with better weather, once the wind's gone and we are a bit sunny and hopefully a little bit warmer. But uh, yeah, really, really nice little thing. Runs runs like a top. Um, believe late 60s, maybe very early 70s. Not 100% on it, but it is just a lovely period thing that works and is usable, which I love. Um, very much like the Yamaha. I bought that um, as a little project to sell on, but actually I use it in the workshop and powers a bit of lighting, a bit of heating if I need to. Does quite well. Um, I've had a bit of a tidy up actually, strangely. Unusual for me. But um, I just got sick of the mess. And so once I got rid of those lawnmowers from the other building, I had the space. So I had a little tidy up. So you'll probably notice things are a little bit more in order. Well, for me anyway. Um, putting a few things on shelves, a few bits up here now on shelves. Uh, you know, I've, I picked this up off uh, me fly tipping uh bit the other week um and just just trying to sort things out a bit more i have still got to sort loads out i've still got all of these boxes of uh lawnmower engine parts which i i've no idea why i bought them but i've got a couple more in 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 here these two here and then let's say these two here um i've got to sort through them and get rid of them i, I really no idea why i bought those but you know on a whim on a whim um, and I've got some LT parts. There's be a few bits I'm going to keep. Again, some more lawnmower bits and pieces in here, um, hedge trimmer heads and um, guards and things. So, um, but uh, I don't want to bore you too long. This is supposed to be a short one. We're already at seven minutes. I've already rambled for that long. But just a uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope you're enjoying the content. We'll do a lot more uh, now. The weather's getting better. I'm going to do the Villiers uh, carburetor strip down. I think. A um, little bit more on the Honda. Uh, going to go through a bit more of the box. Try and sort a few things out of there. If anyone's got any ideas what some of the things are, I'm still a bit unsure on. Um, if there's anything you like the look of, anything you think you quite fancy purchasing, please uh, please do contact me for the com comments. Uh, negative, positive comments are great. It just gives me an idea. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, ring that little bell. And just get your friends to subscribe. Uh, well, unfortunately, we've lost two. We went from 34 to 32. Um, but I'm hoping we can get that, claw that back. I'd like to get this up to a lot more than 32. So if you guys can help me do that, that would be brilliant. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up now. Take care. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.